So I'm super excited to show you a really easy web scraper that we're going to use. First things first, download Google Chrome if you don't have it already installed and get that installed and ready to go. Once you're in Google Chrome, go to Google and search for Chrome extensions. And the first link will take you to the Chrome Web Store. And in here, you're going to search for any picker. Here is any picker. I already have it installed, so it says added here, but you would just click on this and say add to Chrome if you didn't already have it added. And what this will let you do is scrape and automate Google Chrome. I've tried a lot of web scrapers and a lot of web automators, and this one so far is my favorite in terms of ease of use and functionality. So once that's installed, you'll see a little icon right here. We can now use that on any page. So let's go, for example, to imdb.com. And let's go to their menu here. Let's see, menu, let's do top rated movies. Here are a bunch of really good movies. In fact, it lists 100 and, no, 250 of them, I believe. If we scroll down to the bottom, whoo, 250. But you know what? I don't want the information on this page. I want the information on the next page. So I'm going to click into the next page. And then from here, I can start my scraping. So click on the Any Picker, and it will resize your windows and will bring up this new panel on the left. What we want to do is jump straight to New Recipe. Once this is running, you can see when we hover over things, it now interacts with us. Let's try to get the title, the year, uh, the rating, the duration, the genre, the date, all this good stuff, and this score here. That should do it. So to get most of that, let's see, I can highlight this whole thing. Just click that. And you see on the left, it came up with a bunch of fields it found. This first field looks like the title. So let's double click the description here and call it title and hit enter. This next one, don't really need it. Don't need this one. There's the title again, the title again. There's the year, but here's the year again without parentheses. So let's use that one. Let's relabel this as year and don't need this link. This R and two hours. Let's see if we get it somewhere else. We get the little pieces. Looks like we don't get the R. So I'll tell you what, let's keep this and then we can parse it out later. So this is rating plus, gives us the genre and the time and all that. Don't need this, don't need that because we already have it. Already getting that, already don't need that, don't need that, and don't need that. There we go, we have these three things, that's kind of nice. And you see if you hover over it, it tells you exactly where it's getting it from. Let's see if there's anything else. We want uh, this 9.3 for sure. So click on that, and it's got that just fine. Let's rename this to uh, score, and then scroll down. Here's a little description. Let's grab that. Let's see. Rename this to description. Here's the director. Why not get the director? Here we go. Rename this as director. You can see how easy this is. I'll delete this link, and if we want to get the uh, actors, we can do that. Let's just get the first three actors, one, two, and three, and we'll double click this, rename it to actor one, get rid of this field, rename this actor two, get rid of this field, and name this one actor three, and get rid of this field. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, anything else? Maybe this uh, meta score, that'd be pretty good. So click on that. Looks like I got the 80 directly. Call this meta score, and that should suffice. All right, we have a bunch of information from this website, and now we want to define the source list. That is, if we want to do this for more than one movie, where do we get the list of movies? Well, that was just the last page we were on. So if we click on define source list, and we select link from website, and then we just hit the back button here. That's going to take us to the previous page. And then the next thing we need to do is get link suggestions. What this does is the app scans the page for groupings of links. And then it says, is this the group you want? Or is this the group you want? So let's click it. It says, here's a group that is all of these. That's probably what we want. Oh, here's another one. They're green. So I'm assuming they're better. Um, looks like they're probably about the same though, because 
they're identical and we get same number of results. I'll just delete this first one and we'll go with this one. So that's our source. The next thing to do is run it. We could define navigation. Let's say there was like a next page. We could hover down and go find the next button and then we could define that as a pagination action where it goes to the next page and the next page until there are no more next pages. But then we just click on step five and we're going to run this. If you haven't logged in yet, it'll ask you to log in. So go ahead and do that. It's free to log in, free for seven days. And I'm going to have it open 10 tabs at a time. That'll make it go faster. And it's gonna wait two seconds for each page to load. That will give it enough time to load the content before we scrape it out. Scroll down, we're going to save this. I'm gonna save this as IMDB top 50, or we could save it as new. Just rename this, say IMDB top 50. 50. There we go. Save as new. And let's build it. If we want before we build it, we could look at what we're going to get. Here's a preview of the data. So we'll get the title, the year, the rating, the score, the description, director, actor, one, two, three, and Metascore, all of that. But we'll get it for all 250 movies. Let's build. When you click build, a new window will pop up that looks like this. And you'll see at the top, it is open 10 tabs, and it's going to start loading the data right here. You can see it's done three pages out of 250. We could stop this at any time by closing this browser window. We could also just download whatever's available anytime by clicking download. Let's give it a few seconds. I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch the whole time. So I've let this run for about three minutes. I'm just going to stop it here at 50. Hit download. Here's the data right here. And you can see it's not formatted real pretty, but it is in a table with the source of the page. That'd be the link that we clicked on. And then we start with the title, the year, the rating, plus all that other information, which we could split out if we like. The score, the description, the director, the three actors, and the meta score. And it's done this for 52 movies. I let it continue to run in the background and you can see it is already up to 82 and I could re-download this if I want, but I'm just going to turn it off by closing this window. Well, you can see how easy that is. We could do this for a couple more sites. I'll make videos for a few more examples just so you can get the feel for it.